Good morning, everybody. How you all doing? Hope you're doing well. It's your boy Zelos, and we're gonna be playing some Minecraft as usual today. It's your boy Zelos, and we're gonna... okay. So today we are going to be trying to. Okay, why do I have the wither bar? I shouldn't. Okay, there it goes. Anyway, um, I did a little bit of cleaning up some things ye after stream yesterday. Um, so we got a lot of stuff to do today. What we need to do Ooh. is farm the mother silverfish. Uh, figure out how to use Ars Nouveau, which should be very interesting. Oh, that thing is full. Almost. Maybe. Ooh. Anyway. What was I saying? Oh, yeah. Ars Nouveau first. Then we need to summon and kill the Witherfish Silverfish a few times. And let's look up that quest real quick. Exploration. There. Okay, watch out. Some types of fish. And then this. You can easily farm infinite silverfish hearts from the mother silverfish. Source can easily be made, powered by coal. Still, you can place a stasis chamber. The problem is. How are we going to keep the little silverfish from spawning from the, from the boss? Because I don't think there's a way to kill them or keep them from spawning. Which kind of sucks. Um, I mean, none of the... Passive or non-passive uh, torches seem to work. And I don't think there's a way to... Like, set something to kill only those. Although force fields might be able to do it. Let's see. Because we could do a force field projector. It can filter based on type of mod and damage the mobs that we filter inside its field. Hmm. That might be an option. And dimensional shards are EMCable. And why is my music not playing now? Okay, there we go. So we'll probably try the force field method of killing little silverfish. Hopefully it doesn't kill the mother. So maybe I should wait until I have some parts from that. Uh, anyway, um, I could summon her and then put like a drop pit underneath 
and have them drop into like a deep pit while she's stasis. It's a th way to do it, I think. So we need some shards. Okay, so we got the warm, the cold, eggs. For those, uh, ritual four. Okay, do I have a pouch? Might have one in here. Yep. And is that going into the Emmy or is it just dumping into... Yeah, it's just dumping into that. I mean, that's fine. It's just adding to my EMC. And anything that doesn't have an EMC value will just sit in the chests, I think. Uh, let's see. Boss Arena. So we're gonna summon this thing a few times, kill it. my smite ah. airborne This thing is a pain in the ass. Got it. Silverfish around. Nope. Man, I used a lot of arrows. Okay. Um. Summon another one. So these things do absolutely nothing to stop the silverfish spawns, which kind of sucks. Oh wait, I need you. Thank you. 
Jesus. Okay, that's some good food. Not that I need food because I have that charm. Okay, cold, warm, ritual starter. One. Back up in the air. So where exactly does it appear? Okay, so if I build the stasis chamber right next to the altar, I should be good. You wiggly little bastard. That should be all of them. Let's try. I'm gonna move you like right here. See if that prevents any spawns. Worlds don't need those. One. Nope, does not prevent summoning at all.
Why are you so twitchy? Okay, any silverfish left alive? Mm, nope. Okay. Tectonic girdle? Huh. That's a nice drop. Okay. So we can head home. Now that we got those. Go get our the rest of these drops from here out. And put them all in our system. Okay. So, next step is Ars Nouveau. So, what do we need to start it? What's this? That's a new one. I didn't see that quest before. Okay, so to start, we need an imbuement chamber and one of the Ars Nouveau books. Let's make all the tools. The last one, iron pickaxe. Okay, so we got the Novus book. Then we need the mage book. Okay, and then the scribe table. We need archwood. Where can I get archwood from? Well, I got some trees. Probably doesn't matter which ones we use. I'm going to want to plant it here, so what's the dimensions? Ah. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Let's make it 13. So 13 would be 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay, so I need my destruction gadgets. Six. Six. And six on either side. Confirm. There we go. And that should be tall enough for this tree. Yep, that covered it. And it has EMC, so 
That's the only time we're ever going to have to do that. Let's make the scribe table. And what's that? Oh, any kind of archwood. Cool. So what exactly does this do? Doesn't do squat. Good to know. And we need a glyph. You can make new glyphs at the scribe table by using a spellbook on it, then throwing the requested items on top. Oh boy. <laughs> this is gonna be fun. So I need a fletching table and an arrow for a tier one glyph. And three levels. Arrow and a fletching table. Oh, so you learn it by... Okay. Well, that's done. Uh, let's get the imbuement chamber. That's easy. <laughs> and we need a source link and source jars. Jars. I'll make ten of those. Okay. I think I have a relay already. Apparatus and an arcane pedestal. Uh, 
Okay, how do I make... Uh, I'm going to need more source gems. So let's make a bunch of imbuement chambers. Oh, they have EMC. Pass you in there, and you in there. Uh, did I break something? Be quite that many. Pretzel broke again. Awesome. Didn't find any tracks. Pretzel is being very wonky today. Uh, we need some lapis. They're all making source gems. And if I had a watch, I could probably speed this up. If pedestals are required, yeah, whatever. Um, so that's enough source gems, I think. Okay, so we were making this thing. We got the enchanting apparatus. Next, we're going to need some arcane pedestals. Need some more. Go. Uh, then let's set this up like here, I guess.
So, how does the enchanting apparatus work? Source, machines, there we go. Enchanting apparatus. Enchanting apparatus utilizes pedestals and a source for crafting. To use the enchanting apparatus, place any number of arcane pedestals within three blocks with their items. Once you've filled the pedestals, use the middle item on the enchanting apparatus block. The enchanting requires an arcane core beneath it in order to work. Okay, so I need an arcing core. And I need to clean up my inventory. Okay, those I don't need. Don't need mana diamonds or those. Or a block of terra steel right now. Uh, Arcane Core. Give me one of those. So we put that with the apparatus on top. And then within three blocks. So, something like that. And then let's put these source jars like right here. And this, well, this can go here, I guess. And then we need some fuel. Okay, let's turn off my magnet first. Watch it fill up all those jars with source. So, next thing to do is to make the Drigme charm. So, I need one of these. I'm gonna make two, maybe? Nah, one should be enough. Um, we need the hearts. One, two, three, four. Source gems. And any kind of seed, I think. Okay, exploration. Trig me charm. Yep, any kind of seed. Four hearts, three gems. And then put this in the middle. Okay, that's kind of cool. And we got a Drigme charm. Woohoo! Okay. 
bottles of these and make another source link. So with this and some mossy cobblestone, be sure to put that in there. Next we're going to need a stasis chamber. Magic stuff away for now. Uh, network. I mean, go breed some more coal chickens. have enough for that. Uh need a hopper and oh, it's not a log, it's planks. Pressure plates. this out of the arena so that we don't have to worry about it getting exploded by a uh, silverfish. We're using 2,000 RF per tick, just for that. Damn. Good thing I got this thing. Okay, so is there an infinite wireless card for refined storage? can get an infinity booster. Hmm. 
And if we get four of these, so let's actually teach it how to make these. Dimension. Okay, so if I add this to my wireless, which should be right here somewhere. I think it's upstairs. I won't have to worry about range. It says 16 blocks, but let's test that. Nope, that is definitely infinite range. Cool. Okay, so let's put our... ...stasis... Oh, I didn't get a flux point. This chamber. Okay, that should keep the mother silverfish still. Need uh, efficiency. Let's make the range a little bigger by one. You can't put at range add downs in here. That sucks. So next we want probably do I have enough shards to summon? I do. What don't I need on me right now? Don't need my mana tablets. Don't need the card reader or the range add-ons those. So let's get the shards. Uh, ritual. And...
Please say this thing works immediately. Okay, you are tame. You're not summoning any things, which is awesome. So let's get some glass around you. There we go. Now we're gonna put you like right here. We'll put the source jars. Right there. And then we need a chest. Uh, let's get black. Because I want to make this a separate network or separate color chest. Okay, so you should put any drops you get into there. Seems to be working. And for these... Let's put you with one of you. And open crates. A hopper. And we're going to need some of these guys, or at least one. Oh my god, every day, you stupid freaking bots. Without fail. Okay, so we need a redstone card output and a redstone card 
for input. There we go. hope we can actually use an under chest for this or I'm gonna have to make another chest put it over here and then pipe out into that So he's definitely doing something to the silverfish. And he is eating mana, so... How do you see chunk borders? We want to go the other way. Okay, the silverfish is just barely in the chunk. Hey, we're getting silverfish arts. I wonder if a watch of flowing time will affect this guy. We are getting hearts, so that's good. Guessing there's charms I can add to this henge. That will make it faster. Let's see. Uh, automation. Okay, so if I put unique entities around this guy, he'll be happier and be more efficient.
Hmm. So maybe I should put like some cows in here. A chicken, a sheep, that kind of thing. Item extract. Okay, we're gonna let you chill here. Let's go home. And then we're gonna need a few things. Turn you off, turn you off. Now let's get a couple mob imprisonments. Capture this donkey. Got the cow. Rig me. Chicken. So we need a pig. Oh God. Let's get one of you carbon. Pig, a horse, that'll work. I want to let you me capture these things. glass that I was using to seal that off. just gonna drop you guys in here
or not. Apparently, they get killed by that thing. Uh, so... Within a 10 block radius, huh? Pig in there. Don't want a weather skeleton. A sheep would be good. start getting drops from them though. Nope. Not worth it. If we can figure out if a watch of foreign time affects this guy, we could put one of those. Give me a pedestal. See if that helps. I don't think you would clutch from a Drigny. changing the stone around it to magma block. Hmm. Let's see. Is there anything about that in here? Volcanic. Arch for logs for generate bonus mana. Most produces heat. Oh, well, that's not good. The stone converts into lava. So I might want to change this up into something non burnable. Slates. I don't think it'll convert that. So that should make the pressure plate safe. Hmm. 
And there's different pressure plates. I'm just worried about this thing bursting into flames. But I think we can leave this alone and we have a silverfish heart spawner. It's just slow. Okay, so while that's doing that thing, let's finish up Ars Nouveau. What did I get? Fluid cell frames. Eh. Giant compact chance cube. No thank you. I'll pass. Okay, let's go back into this. So we need a ritual brazier and a ritual tablets, which I have some. Ritual brazier. Source gem block, not hard to get. Arcane pedestal, also easy. There we go. And... Tablets, I have a few of these. There we go. Uh, then we need robes. So, Mage Bloom Fiber. And we need Mage Bloom Seeds. Which is Seeds and Four Source Gems. Very easy. Give me four of those and some seeds. Two, three, four. Now, is there a way to speed up the growing of these? They can be put on hopper botany pots. So I think I'm going to go do that and put the hopper botany pot right next to my, uh, Watch a flowing time in here. I can get rid of these since we don't need wheat anymore. It's EMC able.
Oh, I might have put something away that I didn't want to. Oops. This is probably going to be a bad idea. A little bit. Inside the tech acceleration area. Oh yeah, that speeds it up considerably. Awesome. So we'll get the fibers from that and make the robes. a familiar have a binding Has to be vexing. Yep, it does. Let's go grow one of those. Uh, bone meal. Okay, one tablet of binding. So how do we get a familiar? Summoning from speaking so many familiars you need to obtain a bound script of the entity you wish to befriend. That would drink me. Controls of binding. There we go. Yeah. Mom, do I have a drink me in here somewhere? Yep. And I assume I'm gonna want 
some kind of uh, mana nearby. That was easy. Okay. That's done. Now I just need an Archmage spell book. And I need a Wilden Tributes. Ritual of Summoning Wilden. Okay. Summoning. Okay, so I need all that. Okay, did I get the thing? I don't see it. I'm driving from short duration when augmented with Wilden Spike, Wilden Horn, and Wilden Wing. This ritual will summon Wilden Chimera. So, how do you augment? Okay, performing rituals requires a ritual brazier and a tablet. Once you obtain the tablet brazier, right, as a way in this state, you may throw any additional items. Ah, okay. Gotcha. So we're going to want to do this probably in my little Gaia area. And what will augment it? Uh, summon Wilden. Wilden Spike, Horn, and Wing. I don't have any spikes. So we're going to have to do this ritual a few times. That'll work. Uh, do I have... I need to augment my sword with looting. Uh, upgrades. General. This is puny. Get the mighty one. Uh, 
Uh, I need more ability upgrades. Or make a new one, which is probably what I'm going to have to do. Okay, so... Make some manual in. this get a diamond Let's get some more upgrade modifiers. So we'll need a skull, a record, got a bunch of those, and a book and quill. So I'm going to put fortune on this thing. So luck requires two lapis blocks, copper, and a corn flour. Golden carrot, gold into under pearl. Tag, diamond, rabbit's foot, and rose gold. Okay, never made rose gold then. 
Uh, let's see, that is one gold and one copper. Let's just make a stack. But what's the other things? Name tag and a diamond. Luckily, I have all that. Okay, sword, that, that, two of those. So now it's got fortune three on it. Or whatever the equivalent is in takers. I don't think it goes any higher. Go get a jar of source because we might need it for the ritual. Okay, we'll put you here. Because I don't want you breaking blocks that I need. We got the wing, we got the horn, we got the spike. So let's do that again and get the chimera. Well, that was fun. Holy shit. And rituals don't use source. Ow. Son of a bitch. Okay. Now, what did I need this for? Oh, yeah, the Archmage book. Hey. Archmage bookie. And 
Ars Nouveau is done. I need another ender chest. Let's make this black, black, black. Seven silverfish hearts. Very nice. Oh, I did not want to do that. Oh well. It doesn't really matter. Um. Imports. Doesn't need to be fast since this thing isn't really quick to begin with. Okay, so now that we got those hearts, we can start working on Project E stuff. Now the first thing I'm probably going to want to do is a transmutation tablet. Because then it opens up all kinds of possibilities. So we're going to need a extreme crafting table first. So what do those take? Those take a lot of crystal matrices and double compressed crafting table. So let's make some more of these because we're going to need them. Okay, double compress those. And those do indeed have EMC value. Go upstairs and make the giant crafting table. Which is basically just this guy in the middle surrounded by these. Holy crap, that crafts fast. Okay, we're just gonna set you here. Because why not? Uh, then we need a bunch... What fluids am I storing that I have a buttload of. Okay, I gotta go turn off the pink slime and the meat because we got way more than we need. Ah, shit. aren't filling up with anything else. I mean, latex is fine. We want more of that. Although, I thought I set it so that if there was enough latex in the system, it would turn off. Huh. I guess I didn't. Okay, let's do that then. Um, we need a detect or something like that. 
One of these. And then we need our card and nodes. Okay, we want fluid detection. Or we could just set it so that it doesn't care. I mean, that's also possible. There we go. Bucket of each of these. Ether gases. Well. And water is fine, so we don't need buckets for all those.
Okay, exporter again. That and that. Fluid, pink slime. Wait till it doesn't go up anymore. That's going to take a hot minute. I'll leave that alone for a while. I do the dark matter stuff, but I really want the tablet first. So I need the neutronium. So I need these guys. Redstone, crystal matrix, and iron. Put stuff away. Don't need to enter sell or that anymore. this back in a curio slot since I have power to burn um because I don't need I did not add those to my EMC things did I Nope. Well, fix that. Uh, 
Okay. Neutrino collectors. What am I missing? Oh, crystal matrixes. more of those. That might be enough. Okay, let's duplicate my watch. Okay, where is my watch of flowing time? Kind of need that, and I am not going through making another one of those things because they're a pain in the ass. Because you have to. God damn it. This sucks. Do I at least have the setup for it somewhere? Yeah, I could use this. I need my wrench. Where is it? How do I get things out of this thing's hand? Thank you. 
Okay. Uh, how many of these do I want to make? This, this, and probably some laser nodes. And a watch of flowing time. Dark matter, glowstone, obsidian. I'll need six stacks of each of these. Five, six. Three, four, five, six. Goes dark matter, glowstone, obsidian. Laser node here, and a laser node here with a filter upgrade. Okay, so item card, extracts, basic filter, deny, a completed watch of flowing time, match NBT. Everything else gets extracted and Put back into here. Inserts. So, if I did this right, let's try it. Put a clock. Boom. Awesome. And then I could probably put an interface here for it to go into. And then a crafter up here to make it. But we're just going to make a whole flipping stack of these things. Well, let's make 16 at a time. I can't believe this is actually working. Okay, let's set this. Thank <laughs> you. 
This thing's awesome. I love that it's working properly. There we go. That was wicked cool. Okay, so we got plenty of watches now. Get a pedestal. Now, where do we want to set this up? I could do it right here. Neutrinos. And they're all zipping, so one thing I'll need to do is set extracts on these. Uh, let's do laser. Should have enough for these all. Torches in here somewhere. Of course not.
place in these. And that direction is east. need overclockers or anything because Action is south.
going it's in the right direction. Okay, south. Almost done with this side, and then we'll go to the last one. Well, I didn't think this through very well. Since I don't really need all these, this node, I can just kind of remove these. So we need an interface. Give me some cable. All these cards in.
helps if you put it in the right spot. More item cards. Get me another sixty four of those. Sure, they all got cards, and this should be the last of it. Okay, so these things should all be very empty. Well, oh, that one's empty. Never mind. These out of here. Cool. Okay. Now I should be able to make my transmutation table. Should being the operative word. Okay, so we need four alchemical chests and energy condenser. Do I not have any alchemical chests? How in the fuck did I use all them? chess. There we go. I never learned it. Well, fix that. Okay, so alchemical chests. I need a bunch of... Let's see, four should be plenty. Uh, what else do we need? Uh, energy. Condenser. Get it there. Uh, we need dark matter. Uh, 
nitro crystals. That shouldn't take too long. Upgrades. Some nuggets of those. Couple hearts and two Mark twos for energy and good thing I remember to save these. Uh G Mark two and relay mark. Energy condenser. So we want an extra so that we can actually teach the table the table. There we go. We're just going to put you right here. <laughs> Now that we got a table, things will open up. Uh, what do we need for a tablet? Okay, so we need HDPE sheets. The rest of it is definitely doable. Although the infinity ingots, not so much. Uh, compacting drawer. Should be in here. And I need that one. Thank you. 
know if these to be... Yeah, they can. Pockets. Should be going up. Okay, it is good. Uh, now we can start making the Project E stuff. So what else do we need to make from Project E that requires silverfish hearts? Nice. Might as well feed these to the table since they probably don't know them yet. I do a tier four storage. Ah, uh, yeah, I definitely can. There we go. So, let's get all the Dark Matter tools. Oh, you gotta craft them on those. That'll be fun. So we're gonna need diamonds, hearts. Dark matter. Okay. So, pickaxe is two diamonds, a heart, and two of that. Hearts. And I don't have my button. Um, what? That's definitely mechanical crafting. Two diamonds, a heart, and two dark matter. Something's fucky here. Could it possibly be... Okay, something's weird.
Dark Matter, Silverfish Heart, two diamonds. And these are. Oh, that would be it. I want to take diamonds and not mana diamonds, Zelos. Like an idiot. They look almost identical, I know, but they are not. Okay, so we got the pickaxe. Let's get the axe. So it's boom, 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 boom. And hammer. Okay, so we got all the dark matter tools done. Next, we need the red matter tools. Possibly all we need for that is red matter and dark matter and the actual tools. Okay, so red matter, hammer, hammer, dark, and that. in the dark. X is three red pickaxe in the dark. Or axe in the dark, rather. Shovel.
Okay, and then we need to make the guitar. Here's axe, sword, hoe. Cheers. Axe. Sword. Oh. And for the mace. Hammer, pickaxe, shovel. And then a bunch of red matter. Okay. That should be that. And absolutely junk for awards. Go figure. Okay, how many hearts do I have left? I have one heart, so I'm gonna have to wait a little bit till we get some more of those. But I think that's a good place to wrap it up. We got a lot accomplished. Got the farm set up for the silverfish. We got um, Project E progress, quite a bit of it. Uh, Ars Nouveau is completely done. We got Everita going, which will give us a lot of uh, neutronium ingots and stuff. Which means we can progress on to Densitas Infinita, which is really going to be fun. Uh, oh, okay. Grab that ingot. Okay, so we need an Endus Pearl. Endstone, Ender Pearls, Neutronium, and Nether Star. Get that. And I probably have some Endstone in here. Yep. Oh, forgot the star. Okay, those are all done. It's 90 source gems for one of those. Ah.
Ooh. We're gonna have to get into budding crystals. That's going to suck a little bit. Gonna need a lot of nether stars, which we can... At least you only need three polonium for that. 45 of those. Well, I can get these started. Let's make 45 processing. How can I not have taught this how to make glass paints? Okay. Uh, let's see. Mob souls I got. Seven thousand pet filters. <laughs> okay, they're not hard, but I do got to get a bucket of milk, unless I have one already. I do. Well, let's learn that. in here. Filter. teach it how to make fence gates. Did I at least teach it how to make sticks? No. Seven thousand of these, huh? That's going to take a while. Do all these crafters have speed upgrades in them? Yeah, they do. You know they're out there, don't you? Uh, 
Yeah, whatever works. Um... I was back in... Need to teach us how to make record fragments. No, I don't. They got EMC, so it doesn't matter. Endearing, we can make pet filter. I'm setting to make already. Although I could, probably could have made one and just pawed it to the table like an idiot. Uh, corrupted ingot. How does one make one of those? Vile dust and corrupted essence. Okay, that's easy. Corrupted essence, though. How do you make those? Okay, that's also easy. Soul oh, helps from the item grid. Soul sand. And a furnace. Vile dust. There, it's gotta be in a blasting furnace. Blasting furnace or bulk blasting? Well, I have a blasting furnace, so. And I only have to make one. Corrupted ingot. Let's see, what else do we need to do? Node overclockers, which I already taught. Thought I did anyway.
Man of Steel does down an EMC, but you only need 72 of it, so it's not that bad. Compact machine walls. Don't have EMC either. How many do you need? 48. That's easy enough. Ethereal slates. Uh, that's going to need blood magic. Balloons. Looks like that creosote's going to come in handy. Infused ender pearls. Not hard by itself. Palette and brush, not bad either. Here's some weird singularities they want me to make. Train tracks. Okay, so we're gonna have to alter this line to have a stamper on it. Uh, pig iron. Can be made in a servo. Good. But that requires blood. Uh, okay. So we're pretty much set to make all of these potentially pretty easily. And we're gonna need a lot of them, unfortunately. Oof. Yeah, this is gonna suck. Okay, but for now, that's all I'm gonna do at the moment. Thanks for watching, and I will see you probably tomorrow or um, Friday. Right, Saturday, sorry. I might take tomorrow off, don't know yet. But till then, catch you later. Bye!